Some of the kids, maybe they're too sophisticated to be collectors. Now they want to be investors, which is really the wrong approach to a nice hobby. Record-breaking sales. A card sold for $5.9 million. COVID was something that nobody obviously expected to happen, right? When it happened, there's a lot of chat in our industry thinking the market's going to crash. And then come April, everyone started getting into their old collections. Oh my God! There's people that view collecting as, you know, it should just be pure collecting, not about the money, but enjoying collecting the items and, and owning them. I received an email from a reader who said, I don't think you got the full story. They got us, guys. About a five-minute smash and grab. Five grown men were fighting over trading cards outside the Brookfield Target. It's more than a podcast, a hobby. It's more than just collecting. It's really become a, a major part of my life. Fanatics moving beyond commerce. Josh Luber is going to be the person who is going to run this new company. I consider myself more on the collector side. Hey, man, if I have an opportunity to flip something, then I'm going to take that. I can appreciate that I now happen to have something that's worth a lot of money, but that's not why I started collecting. It's not just a piece of cardboard now. Now we could keep a piece of history. Honest Wiper cards are going for more than some of the vacation homes we're offering in our real estate division, and people are certainly seeing the value and the investment potential in this uh, industry. But at the end of the day, it then just comes down to the collector, right? If there's nobody who has a love and a passion for these cards, everything above that is useless. So that's really where the true lifeblood of this hobby is.